Okay, Carrie, um, thank you for coming and talking with me today. So I'm sitting here with um, Carrie Klebanowski. She is an EPIC parent and recently came back to EPIC um, mid-year this year. Um, and I want you to just for a second, tell us a little bit about your kids and tell us why you had to make the jump from the local brick and mortar school back to EPIC um, mid-year. Sure. So I have three kids um, that are still in the home and our youngest is Clara. She's an eighth grader. I have Jack, who's a sophomore, and Nijay, who's a junior. And we were in um, the Ellick Public Schools. We're in a very small district um, where we moved out to a farm several years ago to have a different life. And um, they really wanted to be in a public school locally so they could have friends their age close by them. Um, but we started having issues with them just not being up to par with curriculum. Um, English was not being taught the way it needed to be taught. Um, and then started having some more issues with some safety things. And so really started having some serious conversations and discussions and just had to make that decision about um, finding another option for them. So. So I remember you calling me, yes, and you were like, Kristen, I think we need to come back to Epic, because you've done Epic um, before, yes. um, but you decided you were needing to come back to Epic because of those concerns you just talked about, and you had mentioned that you had a little bit of a concern, a reservation about coming back to Epic. Tell me about that. Yeah, so that was the big reason that we actually went to the Alec Public Schools uh, two years ago or a year and a half ago was because my kids missed that collaborative learning situation, being able to be around other students. Um, we are fairly rural, so it's not easy for us to drive long distances to do some of the, of the big groups. Um, and so that was just a challenge for us. Um, and I remember you talking about how uh, Becca was in a class with Beth Powell and it was a Romeo and Juliet class, I think, and, and how she was loving it and how they get together either on the computer or actually in person. And there was a group of people and it was just really interactive and it's close to us. And so um, that was really, really enticing. So, yeah. And then it was pretty crazy because we have um, another friend that lives a couple miles down the road whose daughter happened to be in that same class. And I asked her one day, hey, you're an epic. What do you think about your teacher? And she's like, oh, she's got this fabulous like Romeo and Juliet class and it's amazing and it's really interactive. And um, they do all these kinds of fun things together with the group. And so that was a really big deciding factor for us to come back was to know that that was still an option, that they could have those interactions with other students um, and do some really interesting collaborative learning type projects. Well, that is great. I'm so excited that you um, have found a little niche within Epic that meets your needs. And I'm so glad that Beth has been a great um, teacher yeah. for you so far. I'm excited to hear that. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. this with us today, Carrie. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you.